Hi, my name is Ron Baker. I'm the founder of the Verisage Institute, which is a think tank that is dedicated to bettering the professions. I'd like to talk to you today about the concept of a rival versus a non-rival asset. What's interesting about a rival asset is it's like a bottle of, of water or a can of Coke. If, if I'm drinking it, you can't. So only one of us can use it at one time. If a non-rival asset, however, is like an idea or a piece of knowledge. If I give it to you, now you have it, but I don't. I mean, I'm sorry, now you have it, but I still have it. It didn't diminish when I transferred it to you. That means that you can take that knowledge and you can tweak it and you can make it better. And you can use it to apply uh, and create wealth for your organization or better benefit your organization or its customers. And that's a non-rival asset. And of course, in a business, we like things that are leverageable and scalable. And a non-rival asset is the ultimate. It's like the difference between baking a cake, which is a rival asset, and having the recipe to the cake. The recipe for the cake is the non-rival asset because I can, I can replicate the cake over and over and over and not diminish it for anybody else. So non-rival assets like having your cake and eating it too. I think this applies specifically to professional firms because a billable hour is a rival asset. Now how I think this uh, interplays with social media is because we're a knowledge society, social media allows us to tap into other people's minds and their intellectual capital, their non-rival assets, and allows us to share and corroborate across multiple platforms, be it Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Basecamp or whatever, and that just accelerates relationship. It, it accelerates our social capital and it enhances our sphere of influence and our sphere of intellectual capital. And, and, and that's what I think is so powerful about the concept of a non-rival asset. Uh, it, it, uh, being able to tap into the wisdom of the crowd, if you will. There's an engineer at uh, Sun Microsystem, I believe, by the name of Bill Joyce, who said that the smartest people aren't in your organization. And to the extent that you can tap into a worldwide network of really bright people and get answers, you're greatly enhancing your social and intellectual capital. And I think that's the power of the non-rival asset.